Hey y'all, it's Chloe's grandpa here. Um, I've decided to do a more in depth of the Bible on certain things. Um, I'm not a normal Christian. I don't really go to church as often as I'd like. I finally found a church that I like going to. Um, I rip my toenail off and can't wear shoes. So it's not like you can go to church without your shoe on and my clothes. I don't wash them as often as most and a few things. But I'm getting back to church as soon as I can put shoes on again um, comfortably. But um, someone asked me to do posts about the way I deal with certain things because church, they, they give you just a Bible verse and then you're supposed to figure it out on your own. Kind of. I mean, they do the Bible study, but it's never, it seems to me it's never on the things I really need to hear. If that makes sense. Sorry if I'm like this, the bifocals, you know, the phones, and I can't see it. Um, so, I've learned to just, Google is my friend. I Google how I'm feeling, and it gives me a Bible verse to read, and I'll read 20 of them before I find one that actually hits the way I'm feeling, which is the shorts that I share are how I'm feeling that day, um, if I'm struggling with something. But I have a couple go-tos that when, when I'm just struggling to with my faith, with just on, on them days that the darkness really creeps in or life is having a really just a really good time with you if you understand what I'm saying or if in my case if my wife has a bad day or I go out to do something and I can't breathe or something doesn't work my way or some life um and for a long time I just stayed in the darkness and the YouTube channels help me, and I'm talking about God on the YouTube channels help me even more because it's gotten me into the Bible. So, for people that are struggling with their Christianity, um, struggling with darkness, what I am going to do is I'm going to once a week go into more in depth of what I read in the Bible or what I, things that I read in the Bible, things that I listen to, things that I, there's many ways I deal with it. And none of them are my old ways, if that makes any sense. None of them are, there are days that I sit on the couch and I don't move. But there's a lot less of them as there used to be. And that's because I read the Bible and I've been doing these little things. So, it's going to be called Bible Talk and it'll be once a week. Um, it's kind of hard for me. Disclaimer, I'm an idiot. I'm not a preacher. I am not claiming what I say is even correct. It's my opinion. It's how I, I take it. What is real is what I read out of the Bible. The Bible verses, those are real. Those are 100% which you should take to heart. The rest of it is just my opinion. Okay? I'm not pushing that on you. I'm just telling you, explaining how I deal with it because some people might be in the same place that I am. Okay? And on them really dark days, this is what I read. It helps. Okay. And it, it's a lot. So you guys got to give me a minute. 
and seeing isn't the best thing. And I'm reading from my King James study Bible. Um, that eventually, if you wanted to, we can get into explaining all that. But today, we're just going to read the Bible verse. And then, um, but this is a prayer. Um, I've heard it called a, what was it? A declaration. Um, I call it a prayer. A plea. It, this calls it a plea for deliverance and forgiveness. Paul, Psalm 25. Some call it a prayer. I kind of call it my go-to is what I call it. All right. So here it is. Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Indeed, let no one who waits on you be ashamed. Let those be ashamed who deal treacherous, treacherously without cause. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindness, kindnesses, for those are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to your mercy, remember me. For your goodness sake, O Lord, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he teaches sinners in the way the humble he guides in justice and the humble he teaches his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth in such as kept, keep his covenant and his testimonies for your your name's sake o lord pardon my iniquity for it is great who is the man that fears the lord him shall he teach in the way he chooses he himself shall dwell in prosperity and his descendants shall inherit the earth the secret of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. His eyes are ever toward the Lord. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn yourself to me and have mercy on me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart have enlarged. Bring me out of my distresses. Look on my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they, ha they hate me with cruel hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I, have put, my tr for I put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness pers preserve me for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all of their troubles. Now, that pretty much covers everything. All the ways I've ever felt. Um, that leads me to feeling better and then praying more and praying is one of the things that when I read that I get goosebumps um in a lot of the ways I feel that explains not explains but it expresses the way I feel 
in some ways. And praying is just one of them. When I pray for myself, I don't like doing it. It makes me feel odd. When I pray for others or for others, um, it doesn't... It's very easy for me to do. The words almost aren't my words. They almost come out of my mouth as I'm saying them in my head. You know what I mean? I'm like hearing them and saying them at the same time. If that makes any sense to anyone. Um, but when I do it, pray for myself by myself in the dark, it's not as easy and it doesn't come like it's odd, but when I pray, it almost helps every time, every time it almost helps. And I say that because of the times that I pray in the dark by myself, it's because I, my inac in iniquity, I don't feel worthy of it that makes any sense i'm sure it does to somebody it it's why i don't watch my own videos i don't like seeing myself i don't like hearing myself i'm not important enough to watch which if some people understand that they will i don't feel that i'm worth praying for i'll pray for everybody else in the world but i pray to just make things easier and that my path is lit and i stay on it and what I say isn't from me, it's from God. You know what I mean? Um, that's about it for me. <laughs> um, this is very uncomfortable, but I'm, sometimes you got to do them uncomfortable things or your path takes you in a direction that you're not used to being on. It's, your path is sometimes makes you uncomfortable. That's just the way it is. Um, what's your favorite prayer in the Bible? The Bible's full of them. What's your favorite one? Put it in the comments down below or over there or wherever the thing is. It's down below. Tell me. I'll tell me what your prayer is from the Bible when you're in the darkest of the dark. It may help me. It may help somebody else reading the comments. Who knows? Um, because it's all about helping each other. It's all about sharing the Lord with each other. It's all about praising the Lord with each other. Because at the end of the day, it's worthy of our praise. Even in the worst of our times. He is still worthy of our praise. Um, I don't want to get... Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. This is the first episode. Sorry. Uh, something I'll probably get more comfortable with. Luckily, I'm pretty comfortable talking to the phone. I don't know why. Um, but that is my go-to. It's a lot to read, but it's... Uh, it pretty much covers how I feel most of the time when I go into prayer. Um, like I said, there are other ways I deal with things and there's other, when I'm dealing with certain things, there's certain Bible verses I read or certain things that I do to get out of it. Um, and I'll have little Bible talk episodes about those. Um, eventually maybe do live screen with someone else so we can, you know what I mean? So it's not just me talking about it and live stream so we can interact. If that's something y'all would be into, let me know. Um, um, yeah, um, that's what I got. That's about it. It's about all I got on it. I'm sorry. Maybe next time it'll be better. I'll work on it a little better. 
all right? I just woke up this morning and God told me that I wanted to do this, so I wanted to do it. So, y'all take it easy. Have a great evening. God loves you and so do I. Bye.